Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Shree Banerjee, Epidemiologist, Biostatistician, Faculty Member, and in this segment I'm going to be going over how to construct a map in Excel. Now traditionally um, the, the maps are created in ArcMap, ArcGIS Online, um, these are even created in R, um, and also Stata. Um, we're going to focus on Excel here. Uh, and the reason this was selected is because um, their Excel most people have used a lot of people may not have used ArcMap. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I wanted to show you all the resources because um, this can get confusing. Now the main uh, file that you're dealing with is uh, the Excel file. So uh, here is so just to orient you um, with the geospatial portion of these resources. Um, so in total, what you have is five resources to be able to construct this map. And I'm going to give you a breakdown about what each of these files represent. So in, in terms of a shapefile um, content, uh, this is actually the main worksheet that you'll be working um, from. So this is your main file. Um, be sure that you download this. Now this shape file, um, sorry for the error, um, is actually a group of six files that I wanted you to get oriented to. Um, you don't necessarily have to be using this. I just urge you to um, download this and take a look at what this represents, um, these six files. Um, this is good to know. The next one is a tutorial um, that kind of shows how to install Power Maps. Um, now, for your purposes, um, if you're a PC user, um, Power Maps have readily been have readily been installed. Now, if you're if you're not a PC user, if you're a Mac user, uh, these are some additional instructions that you have to go through. All right, so let's backtrack here. Um, you have the zip folder here and then um, the document uh, tutorial for GIS. Um, so this tutorial is actually a written written tutorial. Um, there's also multiple videos um, that you can access um, if you're having difficulties. So I've gone through um, these files. Um, again, this is the main file that you'll be working off of. This is there for an example, six files in here when you open up the zip file. This is a tutorial for if you're using an older Excel or, um, or or something that is different, you don't have Power Maps installed, um, then you should be using this one. Um, I'm going to show you in a moment where the Power Maps is located. This is the code book. So in any data set, um, the code book is very important. Um, and so this is the code book here representing whatever variables are within um, the document. Now, the sixth, um, I'm sorry, the fifth um, document entails for people with Macs. Um, so I've told you what these files represent. Now you can um, go over, well, let me show you the Excel um, and how you're creating them. And then I explain further um, in other videos. So I transitioned to here um, to show you this Excel map to uh, the spreadsheet. So uh, one of the five files that I showed you um, was actually an Excel spreadsheet file, um, the XLS file. Um, I urge you to download this, double click on it, and then, um, oh, so that will open this up in Excel. Um, so let's take a look at where this mapping portion is. So you go into insert, um, and then there are all these maps that you can create. Um, there's a filled map and um, according so this is the national um, drug use uh, survey national survey on drug use um, and basically you have all of these maps all, all of these data points available um, that, that you can use let me return to the um, shape file that I, we were looking at and there we go so um, here is the insert like I was showing you um, this is where you'll find the power maps and then if you don't then there's actually additional instructions 
So here's maps. There's actually more options here, more map charts. And you can see um, there's multiple types of um, tables and, and, and charts that you can utilize. Um, there's also another area. Um, um, there's maps and then um, there's something called 3D mapping. Um, so you can open 3D maps. Um, you would actually have to enable the feature, but um, once you do that. So I, I, I recommend that you use the maps um, feature in um, Excel, and I'll show you um, in more detail in other videos on how to do this. Um, so here's here's some 3D maps. You can go through a tour and um, take a look at what to do. Um, so th this is given you, I, I hope this has given you kind of a starting point where you can um, take a look at this. Um, in a subsequent video, like I said, um, there's some more information on how to work with this. Um, I hope this has made some sense. Thank you for listening.